welcome to tonight's online experience. I'm Miss Belinda and I'm so happy you have joined us tonight. Listen, before we get started on our awesome experience, I want you guys to close your eyes and bow your heads and let's open up in a word of prayer. Jesus, we love you. We're so, so thankful, Lord, for the opportunity to teach your kids about you, about your word, about how to pray, about how to worship, and just, just and how to do that while having fun. So, Lord, I pray that tonight's message will speak to the hearts of your kids tonight. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's do this, guys. into the wilderness to pray and fast for 40 days and 40 nights. See, let me tell you what fasting means. It means he didn't eat and he didn't drink. Can you imagine not eating anything for 40 days? I'm sure he was extremely hungry. 
Well, as Jesus was sitting in the wilderness, guess who shows up? None other than the devil himself. He came to try out to tempt Jesus into sin. He came and said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, change these stones into loaves of bread. But Jesus resisted the devil and told him, No. The scripture says people need more than bread for their life. They must feed on every word of God. See, that was pretty smart of Jesus, right? He went straight to the scriptures and told Satan what God's word says. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the son of God, jump off. Everyone knows that God will send his angels to protect you. Jesus resisted the devil and said, The scriptures also say this, Do not test the Lord your God. Once again, Jesus went right to the scriptures. He knew exactly what God's word says, and he reminded the devil that we shouldn't tempt God by doing dumb things like jumping off a building. See, next, the devil took him to the peak of a very high mountain and showed him the nations of the world in all their glory. The devil told Jesus, I will give it all to you if you will only kneel down and worship me. But Jesus resisted the devil once more, and he said, Get out of here, Satan. For the scriptures say, You must worship the Lord your God. Serve only him. Jesus resisted the devil by quoting the word of God. The Bible tells us that right then the devil went away. Jesus had resisted the devil, and the devil ran on out of there. See, tonight we're going to be learning about how to resist the devil. If he tried to trap Jesus with the temptation, there is no doubt he would try to trap us. We must resist the devil and he will flee. Hey kids, what time is it?
<laughs> Bro, hey. how's it going? Did you have a good week? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how has your time been with your couch? Mm -hmm. why, why are you not speaking? Why are you not using your words? I'm trying something new. Okay, what is it? <laughs> not speaking. <laughs> Ralph, mm -hmm. it's not going to work today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so am I supposed to just, you're going to guess and you're just going to say, mm -hmm, and I'm going to say, no, Ralph, you're wrong, and then we're going to mm -hmm. go back and forth? Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's called sign language, miss. Oh, wow, Ralph. The Look at my sign language. Watch, watch, watch. No, let watch. me see. Let me see. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> that's poor sign language. I'm just saying. All you're doing is moving your head. Sign language is normally done with your hands, and, and well, we all know that you're missing that. <laughs> How dare you? So are we now back to using verbal communication, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Okay, we're back. Yes, we're back. Uh, although, I'm not gonna lie, the si Ralph being silent is actually mm. pretty nice. <laughs> I'm sure you would like that. <laughs> Alright, Ralph. Listen, tonight's power verse. Very small. Oh yeah! Small. Very small. You gonna do it? Yes! You gonna do a good job? Yes! Okay, why are you changing your voice? I'm trying something new. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this the oh, week yeah. of trying new it things. It is. It's okay. the week of trying stuff new. Okay. All right. How about we? What we try new is not have you a part of this power verse. That's new. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm out. Wait. Where's the door? Where, if I had legs, I would go to the door right now. <laughs> Where is the door? Where is the, 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 the oh? This not the door. Hmm. Moving right along. Ralph. Ralph. He got a little question there, Ralph. I did. Have to put you in timeout or something. All right. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. So blank yourselves. Hubble. What'd you say? Hubble. Hubble? Hubble. That's not a word. Yes, it is. You said Hubble. 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 Like the Hubble telescope. Up there. I'm surprised that's in the Bible, Miss Bubblega. Because, Ralph. I love Hubble. What? I, I get know. to see tons. Of, you don't know what the Hubble telescope is? I don't. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. The Hubble telescope! Am I the only one that knows about it? Science and space. How the Hubble Telescope, Miss Belinda. Okay, how about I look it up one more time? Yes, please. Okay, but just so you know, Hubble is incorrect. But you know, it, what the word here actually you? rhymes. It's humble. Oh. So you were kind of close, just different meanings. Kinda. Okay. So humble yourself. I like now. mine better. So can you humble yourself? I will try. <laughs> So humble yourselves before God. Resist the what? Divas! Woo! <laughs> resist the divas? We gotta resist the divas sometimes. <laughs> They're all dramatic and all over the place. Let's put Linda. Who's the diva? Who would you consider a diva? You. <laughs> Bro, I'm so far from a diva. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you said Diva. Diva! Oh, yeah! Well, that is wild, Ralph. Divas. Divas. Oh, how about Devil? Oh. <laughs> What's your language? <laughs> Miss Belinda. So, Ralph. This is a P rated, PG rated show. And Devil's not a bad word. He is a bad person, but he hurts. Joshua, put that out. <laughs> Listen, Ralph. Ralph. Diva uh -huh. is not found in the Bible. 
Okay, and so there were a lot of divas back then. Well, there there could be a, there could have been a lot of divas back then, but it, we're not resisting the divas. We're resisting the devil. Oh. Okay. Watch your language. <laughs> devil, devil, devil. Ah! devil. <laughs> Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Oh, Here we go. All right. So resist the devil and he will blank from you. Free. And he will free from you? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that sounds funny. It does sound funny. It's, it's he will free from you. Doesn't doesn't make sense. Right. So can you give me a word that makes sense there? Free. Free. Okay. So divas, Hubble, free. Hubble telescope. Wow. Jeez, man. I wish you would put a little more effort into this. You know, last week I you tried- I wish you would put a little bit more effort knowing what the Hubble telescope is. <laughs> You tried to sell these things, <laughs> your Bible, okay? And yes. this, this is why. If you, you would like my Bible, call 555 321. Ralph, Ralph, yes. this is why you don't have a Bible because <laughs> that's your, because this is incorrect. What? Yes, this is incorrect. It's not he will free <clears throat> from you, it's he will flee from you. <laughs> flee? Flee? He will flee from you. Like a little flea? Like a little flea. Like F L E A? Like F L E E. Like flee. Like run. Not like the little flea. <laughs> <laughs> why are we having this conversation? Move it on. They know what I mean. Yeah. I don't know why I have to explain myself to you. Okay, so you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, so humble yourselves. So humble yourselves. Before God. Before God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he will. And he will. Flee. Flee. From you. From you. James. James. Four. Four. Every single one wrong. Oh, I know, but your presence here was all right. Oh, yeah. Make it. All right, Ralph, it was nice seeing you. Say bye to it the kids. It was nice seeing me, too. Bye right <laughs> to the kids, Ralph. <laughs> Woo! Have you ever been walking along, minding your own business, and then you accidentally walk into a spider web, right? That's like the worst feeling in the entire world, right? They're so sticky. They get on your hair. They stick to your clothes, and they won't ever come off. But do you ever wonder why they're so sticky? Well, let me tell you. It's because the web is what the spider uses to catch insects. Then the spider swoops and eats the insects. See, just like the enemy, the devil, he works in much the same way. This is what the devil likes to do. The devil wants to trap you. See, the Bible tells us that our enemy, the devil, has only three things on his mind. To steal, kill, and destroy. And that's not that very good. The devil tries to set a trap for us and try to get us into sin. He knows that sin is the one thing that God hates. That's why he tries to lay a web of temptation for us to try to trap us. It's kind of like this, like a mouse trap. Why do we put out mouse traps, right? It's to catch mice. You put the trap out in hopes that the mouse will be drawn into the trap and get caught. The devil knows that we are only human. He's been watching us for our whole lives, and he knows what our weaknesses are. He's seen when we've messed up before. He knows what, it, what we likely to, give us, to get us to give in. See, like, remember this, the mouse, right? The mouse trap? What do we put on the mouse trap to lure the mouse in, right? It's cheese, right? The mice is like cheese. Mouse is like cheese. Why do we do that? Because is, is cheese all we have? No, no, no. No, the reason why we do that 
is the mouse loves cheese. If we put cheese on the trap, we know the mouse will be drawn to it and be caught in the trap. It's the mouse's weakness. Maybe your weakness is lying. Maybe because you want people to think you're cool, you make up lies to tell them about yourself. Maybe your weakness is watching bad stuff on TV. Well, maybe your weakness is hanging around the wrong crowd. Whatever your weakness is, the devil will try to use that weakness to trap you into sin. Just like we use this cheese to trap the mouse, the devil will put the most tempting thing for you in the web and try to place you in the trap. See, now, right about now, most of us are thinking, and we're sitting in our seats, right? We're thinking, man, this is depressing. The devil wants to trap us, and he knows exactly how to trap us. Well, what's the use? Well, let me tell you, this is where the good news comes in. And this is super important. Being tempted is not a sin, right? It's important for you to understand something. Being tempted is not a sin. It's not a sin when you see something at the store and you're tempted to steal it. It's not a sin when you're about to be in trouble and you're tempted to lie. It's not a sin when your sister makes you mad and you're tempted to call her a bad name. Being tempted is not a sin. It's only a sin when you act on that temptation. When you move from being tempted to actually committing the act of lying, stealing, hurting someone else, or whatever it is, that's it when it becomes a sin. We are all tempted, but that's not a sin. We must make the right choice in the right moment, rather than giving into temptation and committing the sin. But there's something that we need to do, and something that everyone can do, and that's so important, is that we must resist the devil, and guess what? And he will run. Even though he really wants to trap us and knows exactly how to trap us, he can't trap us as long as we stand strong against him. The devil is not powerful than God. God lives in us, so he can help us defeat the devil. So you remember what happened with Jesus in the wilderness? He did not give in to the temptation, but he resisted the devil. You see, our power promise tells it all. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Even if the devil tries to lay a web of temptation in front of us, as long as we resist the temptation and turn away, we won't get caught in sin. You may be tempted, but you don't have to sin. All you have to do is tell the devil to get out of here and he has to run. See, there's times in our lives that we feel like we're gonna be tempted. There's gonna be things that we like, that we want, but it's not ours. There's some people that are gonna make us angry and when we're so angry, we wanna say something bad, but we have to do this. We have to stand strong with God. We have to let God take control and tell the enemy to tell the devil to get out of here and not set up a trap for us. We have to stand strong and not allow the enemy to use our weaknesses against us. But I wanna do this. Let us pray that we can stand strong and not let the enemy trap us so that God can take control and tell the enemy to get out of here in Jesus' name. So let's do this. Let's pray. Father God, I praise you and thank you. Lord, I ask you right now, allow us to stand strong in your word. Allow us to stand strong in our faith, Father, so that the enemy, the devil, cannot trap us. Father, I ask you right now into our hearts that we can look to you as our strength, as our power, Father, that we can stand strong and fight the temptation that the enemy has for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you guys have came out tonight to watch that, this experience, but I'm super excited to see you on Sunday, but I have one reminder for you. Tell your parents to bring bags of, can bags of candy for the big hunt, right? We're having the big hunt in April. But you have to bring, tell your parents to bring bags of candy so that we can fill the eggs. But tell them one thing, that we cannot bring chocolate. Anything but chocolate. Any other candy will work, but no chocolate. And I want you guys to have fun for the rest of your day. And last but not least, enjoy the time with your family, and your brothers and sisters. And remember, always love God, guys. I will see you guys. Hey.